Hi, my name is Alex with Atec Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing Trello versus Jira. More specifically, we're going to be asking the question, the million dollar question, can you use Trello as a viable alternative to Jira when you are trying to be a scrum team, an agile organization? That is a question that I get asked a lot. There's a lot of differences between the two tools, even though they're made by the same vendor. And we're going to be taking a deeper look and comparing, and I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion as to whether I would use Jira or Trello. As a spoiler, this is a Jira channel. You probably know where I'm going to go with this, but stick around, watch the whole video, subscribe if you haven't already, drop a like if you get value to this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Trello, which is something I don't get to say a lot in this channel. All right, so here we are in Trello, and this out of the box, a lot more colorful. That is uh, the very first thing that hit me when I jumped into Trello was like, whoa, a lot of color, a lot, a lot of color. Unfortunately, as of the time of this recording, Trello is not working. Trello is actually currently slow or unavailable for some users. Over the last 20 minutes or so that I've been trying to kind of use Trello just from a exploratory perspective. This is my first time using Trello. I read through some of the documentation. I'll share it with you in a second. But this, I'm not going to lie, is significantly altering my review because I can't use the tool. And it being a four o'clock afternoon on a Thursday here in the West Coast, I would expect the tool to be working. This is not good because companies and businesses depend on these tools to be able to manage millions and billions and millions of dollars. And when your tools don't work, it's not good news bears at all. So right, right out of the gate, we are losing a point for Trello just for the simple fact that we're not available. So we're going to try our best. We're going to manage with what we have. And um, let's just kind of talk about it. Let's try, I'm going to try to stay as unbiased as I can, but it's kind of hurting Team Trello already when right as soon as I start trying to do this review, we're having uh, intermittent issues. So talking about what I like. So this is a board. This is basically the interface from what I've seen from the documentation that I read. And I think this is one of the major draws into Trello is the simplicity, is the ease of use. It's the ability to very, very quickly get a tool up and running, get your team collaborating, get them working together and, and start having some accountability. I think this is awesome. I think this is a great feature plus one point for Trello here, but, and there's always a but, especially when you're talking to a guy that specializes in Jira, let's talk about what I don't like about this, right? Because this is this is amazing, don't get me wrong. This, if I'm an organization, if I'm, if I'm running some sort of an IT team or just a team that's we're trying to collaborate together, this is such a great experience here because not only is Trello cheaper, but just getting it start just getting started with it is significantly easier and so you come here on your board you have some statuses you can very easily add more statuses so i can add blocked and i can reorder these which is a good thing it's a really good thing that i can do it so quickly but it's also a bad thing because when you have too many cooks in the kitchen things get there's chaos that usually comes up, up as a result of that so I'm, I'm hoping i haven't had enough time to look at it but i'm hoping that trello has some sort of permissions that prevent certain people from just being able to do whatever they want here in the tool. So I'm really, really hoping that this ability to add statuses is an admin level thing because boy, would it drive me crazy if anybody could be able to add statuses and make all these changes because you don't always want to have infinite customization, which is one of the great things that I like about Jira. In Jira, you can customize infinitely, but typically the customization is complex enough that you need a skill able to do it so a lot of people kind of shy away from it and and kind of don't do it right so again it's a gift and a curse type of thing because the fact that it's a little bit harder will turn people off but at the same time it encourages people that are good at it to only do the right changes that need to be done that way you limit the amount of cooks you have in the kitchen now the next thing is adding stuff i think is a lot easier so it's, at least it feels a little bit more intuitive. In Jira, when you go to hit that create button, you don't know where it's going. You don't, I mean, obviously you're, if you're reading it, it's gonna tell you where it's going. But I like that 
my eyes come to like add a card in the specific status that I'm in. In Jira, you don't really get that opportunity. In Jira, you always kind of start at the top of the workflow, which now that I'm looking at this, I would love if Jira could do something like this where regardless of where I'm at in my status, if I want to just add something, I want to be able to do that because this, this right here, yet another point for Trello. So this is cool that I can just start uh, recording my video and I can hit enter and that's it. It's done. I can obviously open this up and then be able to edit stuff. And from what I've been reading and through the documentation, you can add a lot of metadata to your cards the same way you can in Jira. But I like that there's the UI is pretty good. It's pretty neat. It's easy to follow. It's intuitive. It's this is probably what I'm really liking the most. What is interesting though is my eyes aren't drawn to the create button. In Jira, my eyes are always drawn to the create button. And in fact, the create button here doesn't even do what I thought it would do because in Jira, the gateway to the tool is through this create button. And here, this is not what I would have expected. This is where I would have expected to add a card, not, not to just be able to create boards. So this is interesting. The fact that coming over from, from a Jira world to this world, it's really it's surprising to see that that create button doesn't do what I thought it would have done. Now, let's kind of talk about Scrum. And so out of the box, as you can see, there's nothing Scrum about it, right? But I did do some research and I found that there is, that there's like these uh, templates that the community can build. And so I found one for Scrum. I, I went on and clicked Scrum. And so this one kind of gives you, I, what I'm assuming is going to be the closest thing to Scrum in Trello. And let me tell you just first observations here. I don't like it. Um, one of my favorite things about the way Jira does Scrum is one, not only is it built into the DNA, it's natural, it's part of how Jira works. It's part of the fundamentals of Jira. It just does Scrum really, really well. When I'm looking at this, when I'm looking at Trello here, this feels like an afterthought. This feels like you're creating an artificial Scrum. Because this backlog, I don't want to see everything. I don't want to see all my items that are on here. I don't want to just like, this is, I work on teams that have 100, 200, 300 things in their backlog. And this can get really, really long, really, really big. And so I, I love that in Jira, your backlog is off to the side. It's where you go and rank. It's where you go and do all your, your prioritization and your, your refinements and stuff. And it's not front and center. It's intentionally tucked away so that it's not cluttering the view. And here, I just feel like when you lay all your chips on the table, you're gonna have all your chips on the table. And so looking for things, right now it's easy, but if you have a team that is very active and they're working on 10, 20, 50, 100 things, this whole view here can get very overwhelming. And so this is kind of just, again, a first, first like impression. What I am loving though, I love these, these color coordinations here. I don't know what these are doing. I don't know what these, like, oh, it's a different color label. I, I'm just, I'm loving the colors in Trello. Jira, Atlassian, bring some colors over because we can use a lot of it. We can use a lot of colors here because it is sometimes hard to tell the story when everything is just bland, one color. And so I really, really like this. Other than that, I'm not really seeing anything that's standing out to me. I personally, just let me try to wrap this video back up, right? So you kind of saw how Scrum would work here. Obviously in Jira, it's again built into the tool. It's part of the DNA. You you have all the right terms. You're not hacking anything together. It's already just ready for you to go. And so my honest review here, my honest thoughts about Jira versus Trello is, if you're a team that just wants to go get stuff done and you just need to collaborate and you just need a simple to-do list that everybody in your organization can see, Trello is great. It's a great alternative, easy to get started easy, low, minimal barrier to entry, low investment type of thing, highly customizable. So a lot of opportunity to get better, to improve the experience. But if you're an agile team, if you are a hardcore doing scrum, you're doing the story point thing. Cause I, even in this board here, I don't see where story points would go. <laughs> I would think that the story points is the most important thing here. Right. And so no story points, no notion of planning, Hit, no hidden backlog. It's all kind of here, all in front of you. I would not recommend, if you're a scrum team, to use Trello. I would recommend pony up the money, get some help, 
have somebody configure Jira for you if you're having trouble with that. But the juice is worth the squeeze. It's worth upgrading and it's worth using Jira if you're a scrum team. But if you're not, if you just, again, need a place to collaborate with your team, you're looking for a cheaper solution, something that doesn't, is not going to break the bank, then Trello is probably something you're going to want to go and explore. A lot of add-ons, a lot of awesome things happening in this space, just not my cup of tea. So anyways, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Team Jura for the win. I'm going to stick on Team Jura. I am not convinced for the complexities, for the type of work that I'm doing in and out every single day. Trello would be cool, but I just need that discipline. I need that rigor and structure that Jura gives me. And Trello, you're an amazing tool, but just not going to make the cut. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully, I answered a couple of your questions. I know sometimes a lot of team members are usually asking, why why would I go with Jira over Trello when Trello is kind of cool, it's cheaper, it's easier to use, it's easier to configure. But if you are a scrum team, I, I, I wouldn't even explore this option, right? Anybody else, different, different scenarios? Obviously, if you're not trying to be agile, try Trello. But if you're an agile house, it's Jira or bust. It's a very, very clear uh, distinction here between the two. Anyways, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like if you got any value out of this video. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with my analysis. Maybe, uh, Brittany, if you're watching, let me know what you thought. I try to be nice, but, you know, I tried. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we are. I'm looking forward to actually comparing other tools that are starting to grow in popularity and see how they compare to Jira. Will I find a tool that can dethrone Jira? Let's find out. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.